Thank you very much for being here. We are uh, extremely, extremely honored for your presence. Um, if you can uh, uh, present yourself, introduce yourself, uh, uh, emphasizing what is your international uh, role, that is your international training that you have, uh, and the reflection of this uh, uh, internationality that you have in your work also in China. Well, it's of course it's a great honor to be invited again to be here. You know, I was here last year for the lecture. My name is Gong, uh, full name Gong Dong. I'm an architect. Uh, I established my own practice ten years ago in 2008 in Beijing, and we are archi architecture firm based in Beijing, and. Uh, I actually study architecture in China for my undergrad and uh, as well my master degree. And after that, I went to University of Illinois in Chicago uh, to study architecture for another master degree. Currently, uh, besides my practice in Beijing, which is like a daily basis uh, practice, I also teach in University University of Illinois as their uh, plain distinguished visiting professor and uh, well more and more we'll have this opportunity to exchange our architecture thought design uh, on the stage of this uh, ar architecture profession globalized uh, <clears throat> for example last year we were invited to be part of the uh, main exhibitors in the uh, Biennale Venice for the 16 Biennale in Venice. So, yeah. so the Biennale of Venice, it has been uh, uh, the first occasion that uh, from uh, the, your professional point of view you have got some contacts with Italy and uh, last year too you went there in Polytechnic di Torino for the first time uh, so you have got also the possibility to see what are the works that our students uh, are doing uh, are doing here uh, you have got also the possibility to uh, meet uh, several Chinese students that are studying there in, uh, in Torino. So what are um, your impressions on uh, our teaching methods and uh, also on how our design units are managed and the project that you see last year there? Well, for me, it's a, it's a great opportunity to be in the Biennale and to actually interact with the best architects from all over the world. I think architecture is something magical because my personal belief is that you have to always come up with something in a very spe specific condition and you're familiar with, but eventually, you have to be able to go beyond that condition. So it's like a limitation and beyond limitation. So for me, uh, this process of pursuing architecture design is the same thing. We're focusing on China, and most of our works actually is based on China. But at the same time, I think it's quite, quite crucial for myself to keep an, uh, a possibility you know you look to China with distance so by exchanging ideas in the university here professors architects it's part of my uh, architecture experience very important and uh, <clears throat> I look through all the whatever the the works from this practice architect in BN Alley and uh, at the same time I went to some some rooms here in this university to see some works and I participate in the review uh, by Professor, uh, invited by Professor McCallie. <clears throat> you know, I see a smaller, smaller gap now between this Chinese uh, architecture education versus the Western United States or Europe. I think that's maybe part of the trend right now because the media you know, the digitized connection is more and more developed. 
but uh, so that's the issue right now when this world become more and more flattened and then what's the uniqueness and what is the specific more accurate condition that architects has to discover I think that's a critical issue because there must be some effort trying to well overcome this kind of flattened situation so but I think that's a very difficult thing but that's something in my mind which for me it's a very important issue for the design yeah Uh, if you have to say in a nutshell what is uh, your idea of uh, architectural education and what are in your opinion the challenges of architectural education nowadays uh, what do you have to say well that's an interesting question because I teach in China too and uh, in Tsinghua University as well as uh, the Central Art Academy last year if I start talking about this, uh, my perspective in terms of architectural education in China, I think more and more the issue is almost like how you set up a sort of passion for students and to think that architecture is sort of thing they can pursuing throughout their lifetime is even more crucial than the specific architecture design issue or academic issue. Because now I just give you an example, half or even more than half of the students graduated from architecture school, they're taking different professions, not, necess not necessarily focusing on the architecture design. Well, it, it may, this might be reasonable because of the social conditions or you know the current distribution of all the resources but maybe I am still a very conventional architect I think how throughout this teaching of course you have to te teach in a uh, in the perspective of technology or space and all this kind of theory but eventually how you build up a eternal relationship between the students and architecture well, it's, it's something very crucial for my teaching yeah